Hi guys, I just installed Arch Linux in VirtualBox and I wondered where was the link again to install Arch Linux with a script, right? And we use Arch install, which is the official one. But there are others, other people who make their own scripts and then you can use them. The problem with this is that it often just dies over time, right? So this is the last release of November the 3rd, so that seems to be quite new. And I'm gonna try this out, Archcraftsman. We'll find the video. Um, I think it's gonna go on arcanlixiso.com. We have a, a, a lost lot of um, videos there, tutorials there, how to install stuff with and then the various formats. But like I said, over time, right, things just die because it takes time. So this is what we need to do on Arch Linux Live ISO. We have to run this and then we'll do our thing so let's move that to screen number two let me show you the normal setup already so this is arch i've done this with arch install system d and you get this with these choices SZM and then xfce we get this intro we go in and we get the standard xfce so we're gonna do exactly the same thing. What I should have told you before, this is not the Arch Linux ISO. Yes, it is. And no, it isn't. Look at the date, 2023-11-20, which Arch Linux is in the middle of the month. None of them, right? Ctrl-Alt, E-A-A-G, which is called basically pseudo pacman minus S Arch Linux Nah, Arconex, and then application Glade. So this is an application that we've built, teaching you how to build a GTK app, and in this case with the application Glade. So if you install that one, you have AAG, and if you run AAG, which I've just done moments ago, I told him create your personal Arch Linux ISO. You can also do ours, but you can also do the Arch Linux ISO. That's what I've done. Result is I get an ISO, right? Arch Linux ISO. Pure Arch, but from a strange date, 20th. It's today the 20th. So I've, I've tested already the ISO, wanted to know something. So you always fall back if you're an ISO builder, you always fall back what happens on Arch. Right, what happens on our distro, what happens on Arch, and then you decide. So, I want to do this again, so I need to start. This time I'm gonna say reboot into firmware interface, which means boot manager, which means a CD-ROM, which means the USB, and voila, we're back in our daily or our built version of Arch Linux uh, via AEG. Then I'm gonna read, right? Python, and now we need to curl, roll, ink, def, IEC, main, and then we'll see something. I don't know. So that's the fun of these uh, ideas, these projects. I don't know what's coming to me, and that's fun. First of all, SSD, right? And then we start typing Python. That's here. Is it the normal? bracket I think it is minus capital L raw L E E N C dot def slash A C main and close typos no enter okay Enter a config file path or URL if you want to use one. Leave empty to run interactive mode. Enter. And then choose your installation language. English. I suppose I can do en enter then. Type your installation key map. PE Latin 1. Enter. Yes, that's correct. System configuration, what will be your system host name? Arch Linux, cool. Support and kernels is current, okay. 
Gnome Plasma XFC Budget Cinnamon Tooth Face Deeping Electricity Melt Alignment Guide 3 Sway and None. <clears throat> Let's go for the default XFCE. The display manager to install is Lightroom. Do you want to install it? So totally say yes. You can always change to as emulator. Install a minimal. Let's say no. Probably XFCE four and not the goodies if it's minimal. Don't know. Network. Network manager I'm happy with. Don't want proprietary driver NVIDIA. Don't care about terminus fonts. Don't want Grow. Install enables at the RAM. Nope. Thank you. Copy Arch Crafts man to the new system. Let's see, right? Install main file system support. Question mark, what's that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All lights of things like that. Uh -huh. No done. Install a set of main fonts. What's that? Sure, fonts is always good. Cups, no. Nope. I'm not gonna go for printer, pipe, wire, yes, sound, time zone is correct. Type username, full name is Eric still. That's it, no passwords. Okay. Install more packages. New fetch, cool. Aha, password, root. Again, now it's Eric's password. Again, is his information correct? I suppose so. I didn't look at it. Do you want automatic power partitioning? Yes, please. Go for it. Yes, the drive. Oh, the drive does not exist. Should I type something? Device SDA. What type of swap? File is good. No, thank you. Separate home. X4 is my format. Encrypt, no thank you. Is this information correct? Yes, sir. All right. Proceed anyway. Sure, go ahead. Mirrors are coming in. So I did not have a choice to go for Sweden, which I know is for me the best in Belgium. Are you satisfied? I can say no. I will say yes. Linux 6.6.1 is the kernel. Zole fonts, no font found in configuration. The rest is just firmware, make any CPU dash firmware, well, minus firmware. All the packages. I do believe they've done something to the Pac Man because we download more than just one. So, parallel download seems to be on. That's what, uh, right? Why does Arch not do that by default? Two or three at least. So Deepus Network, Deepus in init and multi-target network manager there, display manager there. And okay, grub. Complete, you can reboot your system, he says. It 
took me five minutes. Or what is this behind there? I don't know. Anyway, let's reboot. I see my video recording that it takes took ten minutes. <laughs> well, to make the video anyway. All right, grub is working. E, it says this. Okay, Intel code is there. Fine, boot. And we're in. And we figured out a new way to install Arch Linux. NeoFetch should be there. Let's see. There you go. So we got Arch on our system. Okay. My keyboard is not okay. Keyboard is not okay. Where are you? Settings. Settings manager keyboard layout forget about English at Belgium okay and forget about English close as SD so I wanted to type nano conf see what's in here Hooks, base, udef, autodetect, modconf, kms, keyboard, keymap, console font, block and files. So that's the console font error. Oh yeah, I'm not pseudo. Or set as Steam, that's the default. Let's install minus s. Bash completion probably not installed. I hate it when it's not. Then you log out. Music is on. Whoop. <laughs> Something else I don't like. <laughs> so sudo, what was I going to do? Pacman minus s make init cpo. Voila. Firmware. Firmware. That's the one I want, and that's the one that's not in Arch. It's on the AOR or on repo somewhere. Oh yeah. Well, let's see. I'd like to have that particular package. I install Firefox. Go to the internet. Go to Arco Linux seed host. Never do that, yo. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Data center Belnet. That's the one. Arclix repo is not correct. Where do I find the package? On the third party in here. Control find make init CPL firmware. That's the one I want. It's downloaded. It's here. I install. Pseudo. Oops. Better put my fingers in the right place. Pseudo pacman minus u install this particular thing. All right, doesn't satisfy. What's all this? Cannot resolve. Yeah, so I need I need more stuff. So it's all it's all in here, hidden in here. So no, that's not gonna work. Too bad. Too bad. So these are separate packages, and it says I don't find those. And yeah, they're all on the repo. Right? I thought they were in the package. Nope. 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 So. We have a system. 
yeah i wanted to see if we do sudo make init cpio minus p have the console font is still shown so that's gone the console font and if i want to see all these asked things gone then i need to add the repo of arclix and then all these things will be removed if right if i install it again the make init cpo firmware but it's it's, it's it's just annoying that it's there it's no problem it is just annoying if you think why is he staying on this small thing because i don't mind and because it's simple to just change it to whatever you want voila and then you start changing all kinds of little things but the topic of the video is of course this special this one the special application arch craftsman and if you are a student of python right maybe right have a look and say okay import json and os and typing and you go on and you start making sense of what c tries to do arguments disk the config the bundles and so on don't have time for it but might be a good idea right at some point in time to have a look what's in here do with an with an ide like code or atom or something that you see the coloring better because this is not quite well this is not a thing right not a good tool to analyze and learn a language voila another video and i'll put it on the articleisa.com i believe that we have there a list of all kinds of ways to install arch there's Arclix, there is ALCI, there is uh, Carly, there is Endeavorwith, there is Garuda, there is Archcraft. I mean, there are so many. In the end, it's all Arch, and you learn at Arclix and apply the knowledge in anything Arch related. All right, cheers.